Yo, what's going on? It's your boy. I can't wait for tonight. It's Gen Talks Night. That's when all the young adults in DFW area and a part of Oakland Bible Fellowship, they come in and we have real conversations about real life. Tonight is baggage and boundaries, a conversation of relationships. We all experience relationships and at the age we are, we're just getting married, we're dating to get married. Uh, we've been married a few years, we're trying to figure things out. So we want to figure it out and we want to do it based on God's word. So it's time to have the conversation. Let's go. This one was supposed to be shaped like that. We want to make sure that we consider our relationship with God as we live our relationships with one another. And I think that's what a lot of people forget. So we're talking about the relationship horizontally, but at the end of the night, we want to make sure that everyone who comes thinks about, oh wait, I have a bigger relationship vertically that I have to consider so it can teach me how I'm supposed to operate horizontally. And so if we can get that tonight, we're moving in the right direction. Meet some new people. Y'all don't be scared, meet some new people. We want to make sure that the groups are co-ed and there's going to be fewer men. Enjoy yourselves, but we're just going to be real. These are, we're not professionals up here. It's just real people having real conversation. And we want to have conversation about things that we actually experience and how we're actually supposed to roll. What is it that men want? I mean, let's, let's just, let's talk about it for a second. Um, I know for myself, I wanted somebody that was my homie, like really my homie, like we partners before anything. I would say I wanted somebody that respected me, obviously a leader, someone that could provide for our family, that was going to love me unconditionally, but I also needed somebody that would notice that I was walking around looking fine and affirm me and feed into me. What do women really want? What do men really want? Find out, let's talk together. We'll give you seven minutes and then we'll bring it back to the stage. We'll go to the next topic, let's go. When you're in a relationship and you're practicing celibacy, you're also practicing self-control, which is obviously one of the fruits of the spirit because you might think, oh, well, we're gonna get married anyway. It doesn't matter, but then you're gonna get married and there might be one day that you're mad at your spouse and your coworker walks by and they look good to you. So you still have to practice self-control when you're in marriage to not be with other people. The Bible covers tons of topics, but it doesn't cover every topic in your individual situation detail. And so you have to take the principles and figure out how you're gonna apply those boundaries in your life. And these are things that we face right now um, in our lives, even when, as it relates to these questions. And so that's why we want to do it. But we want to have real conversation about things that we really deal with, okay? And, but we want to take what we know biblically and figure out how do we create those boundaries to make sure that we're honoring God and honoring the relationship that we've been placed in. Conversation was very transparent. I learned how to apply different things to, from a biblical standpoint in my marriage. There was a lot of uh, useful information that was given, a lot of um, spiritual and natural advice that we can use to apply to our lives. I feel like these conversations are much needed. Um, amongst like believers, I would definitely come back. I thought it was great. A lot of times, uh, you know, we have things in our mind, but we never, never get a chance to talk, talk about it with a community of people that's going through the same thing. So of course, I'm definitely coming back. Gen talk, baby. Come out and build community. What up? We have fun talking about baggage and boundaries. This conversation on relationships. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you at the next one because we're going to keep this thing going. We got to keep having these conversations about practical things that we're facing and going through in life. We want to be able to take the Bible, use it, and bring it down so that we can actually walk it out. So I can't wait to see you at the next one. Let's go.